Drawing insects. Both scientists and artists look closely at insects. What parts of the insect can you name? What shapes do you see? We're gonna use our artist eyes to find shapes and lines inside insects and draw what we see. You will need something to write with, a piece of paper, and pictures of insects. I found mine in a book, but you can also find them in magazines or outside. Be sure to ask an adult or a parent for help. Put your name and grade on the back of your paper and get your artist eyes ready to look for shapes within the insects. I'm gonna start by drawing the dragonfly. I noticed that its body looks like an oval, its head looks like a circle, and his two eyes look like ovals. I'm paying close attention to the shapes that I see. Do you notice any other shapes? Once I finish drawing the outside of the dragonfly, I can move to the inside and start drawing details. Next I'll draw the bee. I notice that its body is made up of two ovals. His head is also made up of an oval, and his eyes are two circles. The bee also has two antennas, which I'll draw using lines. I'm gonna finish drawing the bee by looking for shapes within its body and drawing what I see. Next, I'll draw the ladybug. I'm going to start with the half circle. Its head looks like a circle, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. I see that the ladybug also has circles on its back, so I'm going to draw a few of those. I'm going to use thick lines to create the ladybug's legs and thin lines to make its antennas. I noticed that this lightning bug has four wings, two that look like half ovals, with one curved edge and one straight edge, and then two large ovals behind them. Do you notice any other shapes? I'm gonna use lines to draw the antennas and then also the details inside the wings. For my butterfly, I'm going to use a long skinny oval for its body, a circle for its head, and two dark half circles for its eyes. Now that I have the outline of the butterfly done, I can go on the inside and use lines and shapes to create details. I'm going to use circles and its wings to give it a pretty design. Try to draw your insects big so that they take up your entire paper. Now that you've helped me find shapes in my insects, I want you to find your own insects and see what shapes you can find within them. Then draw what you see.